I'm Sam. And I'm Toby. And we're the Micro Brothers. Alright, so hi everybody. We're going to be showing you today how you can find tardigrades. So, but what we did first was we tried to go around on the internet to find some stuff, but we tried all those things that people were recommending to us, but we couldn't find any tardigrades, so after a lot of work and patience, we found this method that we're going to be showing you how we do it. Mm-hmm. So, let's... It's cute that you can see its little legs, and we failed a bunch of times at this. Yeah. So here we have our... Tardigrades shedding. It's not that fast. We washed it for 15 minutes, and it didn't get out of its skin, so this is a time lapse of it trying to get out of its skin. Our skin just like flakes off in very small parts that you can't see. Whereas they have it all come off in one big sack. Just like you, snakes. If you had to have your skin all come off in one big flake, I would always have a knife with me. To help get yourself out of it? Yeah. So that we could do, so we wouldn't have to do that? Yeah. We wouldn't be able to see our skin is darker. And this is after, this is 20 times the speed. So here's Toby. I'm gathering some moss from a little tree branch. In Stanley Park, we got some of the stuff at Stanley Park. This is the same gathering moss. It's more like lichen, whereas mine, you can just take off in big strips. And this stuff you really had to like yank. After doing this, I ha before I had no idea how much moss, how many different types of moss there were. Now we spray it out on a pan with some tin foil on it. Then we water it once a day. Just we tried to make sure it looked like it was like just rained on. Then we put some in the jar. About uh, well, quite a bit of moss moss. We just try to make sure that it's all like evenly spread out so that none of it's like a big clump and the inside might not be getting any water. Like that much. Yeah. Then I have to put some water in it. Very pure. We just make sure that... We've just had this water for a couple of years. Well, we just make sure that it has no impurities in it. So that... Because tardigrades just might like Maybe certain things they wouldn't like. I don't know. So we just try to make sure it's as pure as possible. Here's our filters. It's 90 microns each hole. And we'll leave a link in the description of um, for getting the same um, filters that we, as we used. Make sure you cut the thicker part. So that... Um, just so that you don't have like a big thick part in your thing. Now we used the camera magic to make it go by in a second. Editing. More and camera magic. <laughs> here it is. So now we have to take our jars of moss and water. Make sure you shake it up super hard so that we can dislodge all those tardigrades from it. Probably harder than we just did. Well, as hard as you can. And then, right after shaking, you have to pour it into the filter. Just so that it doesn't... They can't, like, grab back onto the moss, which you're gonna try not to pour into that filter. So that you don't have to, like, grab a bunch of moss. Because that would add a lot more that you have to dig through to try to get those tar grades. Now Sam shakes his up a little bit more and then pours it in because he had it sitting there for a while. Too long. Um, so I just always found it interesting how like we poured water in but you wouldn't think how, um, that there would be that much gunk at the bottom of it. Yeah. You'll see in just a second how much gunk there is from that water, which I thought looked pretty, like, cleanish. Now here we're putting the moss back in, so it, because all the moss around it probably still has tardigrades on it, so we want it to be repopulated for later experiments. For further use later, so. Now we're, we're making the slide. 
So we need an eyedropper for this part. Well, whatever you can use to get that water in there. So first you get out your cornstarch. You put some on the slide. Try to only get four grains one for each corner of the cover slip. And you can push it around with your cover slip so you can just drop it all in the middle and then push it around to the corners. So that you can have more even spreading of your nice little tardigrades. Yeah, so that your tardigrades can roam more space. And then make sure when you put the slide on, why we need this um, cornstarch is because it, we don't want our poor little tardigrades to be squished. By I that, get a pretty big chunk out of this. By that big cover slip to them. We mm -hmm. don't want to squish it. No. Here Toby is getting it. There it is. There's a huge chunk of moss. Well, gunk. From the moss. Then we put it in onto the slide. And then, then we get some water with our eyedropper. We have some, like, p concentrated tardigrade in that jar. How we got that was we rinsed all the stuff off the slide with more pure water. And if you don't, you probably won't already have one of those. So if, um, because you probably won't have that, you can use that same water that you filtered out. Or you can use more pure water. And, and then put on the cover slip and your slide is done. And it's ready for going under the microscope and you'll be able to find some cool tardigrade footage. Just tardigrades. Yeah, there's lots and lots of tardigrades. Here's our first ever tardigrade we just filtered. Well, it was in a huge thing of water for a couple days. After using the method that we, after that method that we usually use, we can... Find, we usually find about three tardigrades per um, slide, and I do recommend making that like tardigrade water. Make sure it's a thin, a very thin layer. You saw how much how thin it was back there, so just make sure that it's not too yeah. thick. That so thick that they won't be able to. That they'll be as slow as this guy. Here we have some facts about tardigrades. There's only three. So, one, the average tardigrade will live for about 2.5 years. Now, that's a really long time for these, for, for that something small, that small. A little th for that s something that small. We found the same sort of thing, but it only lives for about four days. And tardigrades, which are about the same size, live for 2.5 years. It's a very long time. The second one is tardigrades are not extreme files because they do not do better in extreme conditions. Now, extreme files, they, like, can do more, like, they do will, better. Yeah, they won't die as much, all that sort of thing. And tardigrades can just form turn into cysts, but it's not their favorite being in still being very hot or very cold. Tardigrades vary in size. The biggest species can grow to 1.5 millimeters and the smallest when newly hatched can be 0 0.05 millimeters long. It's really small. And so. there's a road for over there and we forgot to mention when you filter. There's not so much small stuff for the road for it to filter, well, for it to go around and eat, so it will just be filtering and not actually get any food. And it will just be fil much. filtering for a very long period of time. And another type of thing that we found a lot of was nematodes, which is on the other side. Yeah, up. To the top right of the tardigrade. At the start of this footage, before we edited it, it was um, like smacking the tardigrade. the tardigrade. It was it was just really cool how it could, and they're really strong. We could see it like trying. It was just hitting the tardigrade, but it didn't look like any different from what it's doing right now. It didn't look and slowed down at all. Yeah. 
Nematodes are just always moving quickly. Like, yeah. they never calm down when they're on the slide. Oh, look at how cute the tardigrade is. It's just, like, waving its leg and trying to find something. A baby. Right? Yeah. And we found that once it's slow like this, or when we saw it fast, it would try to, like, run across the glass, but it wouldn't be able to. Here's a, what we think is a tardigrade in a cyst. So, the cysts are... Like, a tardigrade that's dead, but also not dead at the same time. So, it's just how it, like, lives in places that are very... They don't have very many nutrients or anything. So, they have trouble, like, surviving, so they just turn into a cyst. Here's a tardigrade in dark field. So, dark field is illuminated from the top. So when it's illuminated from the top, it's more of like what it would look like to us. So it, you can see more of like the normal colors. Whereas when we're normally looking at it, it's been illuminated straight up from the bottom. So it looks very different. That's why everything looks white. And it's a dark field because everything is dark. And it looks a lot like shinier and you can't see the water quite as well. Which doesn't matter because we don't need to see the water. Yeah. Not but junk in the water. With this, I find I can, like, see the textures of everything that's moving around a lot better. It seems like more of something that I can, like, actually relate to. Yeah. So, please hit the bell icon so you get a notification whenever we make a new video. Please Bye. like and subscribe. Bye! Bye.